Okay, a couple of people have asked how I do oka pollinations. So this is going to be a brief demonstration. We're using a flower from the variety Sunset as the male pollinator. And we're using a flower and stem from the variety Hopin uh, to receive. So what I do is I take about a four inch cutting from the, from the plant, from the plant that I'm going to use as the female, and then strip that up the stem a bit just to remove unnecessary foliage. This stem is going to uh, be kept in a cup indoors in a cup of water so that it uh, is not affected so much by wind and environment outside. So I've stopped here because here we have uh, the, the flower stem coming off. We don't want to accidentally pull that off because that's the most important piece in this case. And uh, so this, when we're done, is just going to go in a cup of water and it's going to sit there for about a month until the seeds have formed. So we have to prep two flowers here and we'll start with the, we'll start with the female, which is the variety Hopin again. What we're going to do is just remove the petals. Often they come off all in one piece, very convenient when they do, otherwise you have to do them one at a time. I'm going to take my angled forceps here and just pull off the sepals. You don't have to do this part, but it just makes it a little easier to reach everything. So when we're done, we have a stripped flower. It's a mid-styled variety, so we have anthers here and here. We have styles in the middle. And the styles are what are going to receive the pollen. So we'll just set this down in the cup for a minute. Uh, I try not to let the flowers, once they've been denuded, touch any surface so that they don't get contaminated. So from now on, <clears throat> I'll, put the, I'll put the female back in the cup every time I'm done. So then we have the flower from Sunset. We're going to use this as the male. It's a short styled variety. So this one probably won't come off quite as clean as the other. six petals on this one, so it's kind of a outlier. Okay, so again, remove the sepals, just makes the job a little easier. And then what I usually do, you don't have to do this, you can get away with one pair of tweezers or forceps, whatever you have, uh, but I use a pair of locking forceps to grab a hold of the base of the flower. Because I often use these for more than one pollination. So this gives me a couple of advantages. One is just easier to manipulate uh, when, I have a, when I have a bigger piece to work with. If I'm just working with the little piece of flower stem here, here it can be difficult. But also it means that in between pollinations, I can put this in a cup and then I don't have the denuded flower resting on a surface getting contaminated. So now it's very easy. We're going to take our female flower and our male flower and just rub the proper parts together. So in this case, it's a, it's a mid-styled variety. So it's the middle tier of, of styles that we're pollinating to. And we're going to use the middle tier of stamens on this flower. So I just take it and just rub them together. Go around the flower a couple of times. Sometimes you lose little bits, doesn't matter. And that is a pollination completed. So now again, this will just go on a shelf for about a month. Uh, when the seed pod begins to swell, I'll put a little bag over it to keep the seeds from uh, exploding out of the pod. And uh, eventually they'll just, uh, seeds will appear in the bag after the pod explodes and they're ready to harvest. And the male can be used for two or three pollinations. You can actually go even more than that, but I, I find that two is a, is a pretty good number. Um, you, you get about the same percentage of successful pods 
with, uh, with two pollinations from a flower. So that's it, Oka pollination.